Once located downtown at 1011 Walker, this legendary Houston restaurant has been called perhaps the most famous eating place in the city's history. Hey, I'm Colleen Fell and welcome to this Forgotten Day in Houston presented by Greenwood King Properties, a place to find your home. In this episode, we're turning back the clock to August 1976 when, as the Chronicle's J.R. Gonzalez described it, you could find yourself standing in a lunch line with construction workers, bank presidents, and newspaper columns. The place was James Coney Island, and though the lunch lines were often long, the lines moved fast because the workers inside worked with the gusto of madmen. The counters were stainless steel and like a school desk. Customers from all walks of life used those wooden chairs to partake in the Houston tradition of eating James Coney Island hot dogs at 1011 Walker. James Coney Island was founded in 1923 by Greek immigrants Tom and James Papadakis. With the flip of a coin, the brothers chose James for the name on the sign. And why hot dogs? In 1976, James's son Jimmy told the Chronicle, I really think he felt the hot dog was part of the American dream. Sadly, the original 1011 Walker location closed its doors in 1993, but that's not where this story ends. After the Papadakis family sold the chain, Darren Strawn became the president of James Coney Island in 1994. And today, there are 20 locations in the Houston area. The menu has grown since 1923, and it isn't just hot dogs anymore. You'll find items like baked tots and the Juicy Lucy, but you can still order the original Coney and a bowl of chili. Greenwood King knows Houston in history and the nuances of each neighborhood. If you are looking for a place to find your home, visit one of their three convenient office locations in the Houston area. You can also go to greenwoodking.com where you'll discover the exciting possibilities waiting for you in your new community. I'm Colleen Fell and thanks for watching.